Hello everyone, Scoops here. Welcome back to another episode of The Town of Light. Last thing we did here... This is the last thing we did, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, we... Had a little shower scene. Um, to put it bluntly. And now I'm off to wonder exactly where I can go next. Um, there seems to be a... Kind of a, uh... A pattern to how this game works. Wait, what's the volume at? Okay, turn that way down. I'm kind of remember trying to remember where I could and couldn't go before, to be honest. Uh, I hate it when people are looking at me. <laughs> it doesn't work well. I'm out. Forget it. Okay, I feel like I've been in most of these places here, and it seems to be like the side rooms don't really do much for you. I'm sure they do have a purpose, but uh, I haven't seen too much of it. No, we're not going to do that. I can't remember if this passageway... This goes to the kitchen, right? What was that? So that goes downstairs. That goes upstairs. I feel like we've been down this hallway before, right? It's been a couple days since I last played this. I think so. Let me go to the end. This is where the... What's this? I don't remember this door being shut entirely. Oh, maybe it was. I think... What's this? No. Okay, yeah, I've been down this way before. But let's see if it triggers something else. I'm already down this way. This goes to the bath area, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's head upstairs, because I don't think I've seen everything down there. Or upstairs, I should say. Yeah, I think I missed something... Oh, I'm trying to remember now. I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Um, okay, what keeps doing that? Am I like running over something? Something's happening when I entered this space. <laughs> and it's creeping me out, and I hate it, and it's a stupid jerk. Although I'm pretty convinced at this point that nothing's going to pop out at me wheels going of course it is that's not open that's not open huh I can't get in here right no is it possible it's something outside so I've already been through these places Oop, that was some major pop-in yeah I've been through these places before I don't know if you remember but uh, a couple episodes back let me just check this door just to be case ah just to be there it is. When there was too much chaos, they closed all the windows in the door. They switched off the lights and it was pitch black. Some people fell asleep. Some others stopped seeing their demons and things became more peaceful. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this screaming that's going on. <laughs> oh, this gives me chills. This is the kind of horror game I like. I guess you can't really even call it a horror. Oh, there's fucking church pews. Is there bloody? Oh god. Whoa, that's super creepy looking. This music, these like weird screams that are happening. I don't like this. I don't much care for this. Okay, piano stops. Okay, what's behind this curtain? Man, this is so creepy. Okay, I don't know if that's anything. I really don't appreciate these screams, game. I really don't appreciate the screams. Okay. Any of these lockers I can open up? No. It's gonna flash back. It's gonna show me a picture of like really nothing. It's gonna freak me right the hell out. Unless this is just nothing in here. It's not showing me anything. There are these diagrams here. To what purpose? I don't know. And now the piano starts again. Oh my god. 
Let's open up the windows. Let's keep it all nice, bright, and fresh in here. Another shower. Another bathroom. To what end, though? It's clear I have to go down here. But why? I'm not seeing anything worth touching. <laughs> LOL. Is there something in one of these tubs? Is this just laundry? <laughs> Doesn't seem like I can interact with anything here. In fact, it seems like the only thing I can interact with is that kind of like box in the other place. We have to open up all the windows. Let the sun shine. There's this room right here I can go into. There must be a purpose for that. Unless I'm supposed to close everything off. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I turned around and I saw something on the wall and it freaked me out again. It doesn't seem like this game's style. But, uh, maybe. Ugh, oh, it's so creepy that it just cuts out. Yeah, let's shut them all entirely. I probably regret that. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I can't interact with anything. Usually I can. I really don't know what any of these things are, to be honest. I don't know what this is. Shock. Looks like some kind of, I'll say, torture device. <laughs> To say the least. Oh man, this gives me the chills so much. Oh! They put a straight jacket on you. A cold shower. They suffocated you with a sheet. They tied you to the bed. They tied me to the bed. A woman died next to me. Suffocated by her own vomit. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop masturbating. I remember her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there. The whole lot of them. It's chilling. Once again, is this based on real stories? It was then that I saw that doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. Whoa, my goodness. Oh, this is the creepiest, creepiest faces I've ever seen. What the fuck is going on here? Those hollow eyes is just so nerve wracking. In the solitude of that crowded ward, the past came to harm me once more. Okay, you're loading. Oh my goodness, you getting some job. With him. I would never have expected to see him. He had come there to remind me who I was. That's what my mother used to do. That's what I had done. It seems that my life in here is a repetition of what it was out of here. The doll, the fear, the shame. I should have liked to cancel everything I used to do. And instead I did it again, repeatedly. New chapter. You gonna let me out? 
no, no way out. Man, this is bone chilling stuff. Everything's ah, oh, I'm really enjoying this game. Twelfth November, nineteen thirty-nine. Dear daughter, it is with great sadness that I have heard what has happened. Your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me. It will take time, but you'll see. Things will improve. They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot. Every day. Write to me often and tell me if you need anything. I'll do what I can. Try to be strong. Mom. This is the last letter she wrote me. Once I was put into this ward, loneliness arrived. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mum. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come? Did I make a mistake? It didn't look like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I should like to be able to reply to her again now to change things. Oh my goodness. Who is our response? Please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so. They've taken everything away from me. They hurt me really badly. I'm so alone, nobody knows about me as if I... It's as if I didn't exist. I'd say the alone it seems like the most pressing matter. Even my friend uh, helped me do something. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize. I'm so ashamed. If only you knew how much. I have a fear which I can't understand. I'm completely confused. I can't keep living like this without any reason. I can't even cry anymore. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have a fear. It's the heaviest one. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. I don't know what's happening to me. Sometimes I don't even know where I am. They hated me. He hates me. He wants to kill me, but nobody understands. Nobody believes me. I just want to die. In the evening, I hope not to wake again. I think this one. I don't know what's happening to me. Perhaps she would have listened to me. Will she reply? Ooh. Loading. 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 Man, this is getting intense. I mean, those like screams and stuff like that were really freaky. Oh, now everything's open. Okay, let's go over this way. There might be something else in here now. Oh man, it's so creepy. Can I touch anything on here? No. Looks like I have to mail this letter. Well, there wasn't really anything worthwhile over there, right? No. But all these doors are now open, which is terrifying in and of itself. <laughs> just a light. I will explore each one just to be certain there's nothing kind of important in any of them. There usually isn't. But I still feel like I gotta do it. What is this? But yeah, I mean, something I keep saying over and over again. I know I sound like a broken record. Oh. Oh, there's just like a skull in the room. Um, but, like, if this this is supposedly based off of, like, an actual story, an actual account of living in one of these places, like, it's absurd. They really thought that this is how to, like, fix people. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, not that we really know much more now, I, I'm sure. Nothing's ever perfect, but still. It's clear, it's just madness and not the cure to madness <laughs> oh it's good bed with a hole in it <laughs> I feel like I've been to one of those before all right looks like I can go oh, man I don't know what's giving me such chop right now this game's getting more and more intense as it goes on sorry but oh my goodness okay hold on one second Okay, I don't really know what's causing it, but there's nothing really that I can uh, do to fix it, unfortunately. So, you'll have to bear with me for now. <laughs> Things are going to be choppy. Hopefully at least get the uh, general feel of it. So I have this letter I need to send to my mom. I don't remember seeing a mailbox or anything like that, but this door is now open. This one wasn't open before. So let's head down there and see what's what. Ooh, medical things. This is bad. Almost always bad. 
<laughs> so I looked into it, and it seems to be just a part of the game. Um, just decides to get really choppy. Maybe there's something happening in the background I can't see. <laughs> I mean, it is an, a small indie game, right? Oh my god, those faces are just the worst. So it looks like it might not be totally super optimized. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's deal with it. It's fine. Ooh, this doesn't look like a place I want to go down. But I will. Is there anything here? No, it doesn't seem to be. Ooh, can't even open the windows. Why would you lock windows from the inside? I don't know. I wonder if there's some value to going into these rooms and seeing all those different cutscenes. Outside of freaking me right the hell out. Ooh, this looks like a bad one. It's funny how seeing a cross can like immediately evoke like, ugh, in my mind. Like, it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's not inherently bad, of course. A cross. Oh my goodness, is this somebody that like lived, worked here? Not worked here, but like, was a resident here? Can I go and touch these ones? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know why there's skulls everywhere, although it doesn't surprise me in any particular way. Ooh, what's this? Somebody try to dig their way out? <laughs> I don't even remember this, like, wing of it. I feel like I should, like, do a map of this place. I swear it changes. <laughs> it probably doesn't. Okay, medical supplies, all that goodness. New tuberculosis unit opens. All right. Oh man, that's creepy too. It's not. It's just like a normal picture, but they made it super creepy. Uh, to arms, Italy's entry into war announced by the Duce. All right, one more room, and then we get to check the end run. I guess when you're this far gone, you know, like everything will throw you off. <laughs> Every little bit. Wait, I can touch something here. Touch the nozzle. No? Okay. You're just part of the door. When you were sent to a lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here, even the clothes you were wearing, in case you were released one day. Too many, however, never left. Oh my god, what is all this stuff? Seems like I can touch it all. But I'm not sure to what end, to what purpose. It doesn't seem like I can actually touch anything. Stack of letters that never got sent. <laughs> what a what a grand group of people we had running this place. So I'm guessing this is where I gotta go to mail these things off. In essence. Can I hit anything else? R S R L S T. Renee, maybe? Ooh, what is this? Please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so much. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed. If you only knew how much. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Your daughter, Renee. Not fulfilled. Not sent. <laughs> this letter. It was Renee's letter. Just like when it was written. But it was never sent. Why? Why did a thing like that happen? Was she dead? Another letter. I've received your letter, Mum. You tell me to be patient and strong while I only have fear and pain. And you no longer write to me. If only these lines could be my soul and tell you what's happening to me. The kids want to kill me. They all look the other way and they tell me what I must do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Not fulfilled. <laughs> Not delivered. Montefascoli, 7th July, 1940. 
My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You haven't even dropped me a line for months. Unfortunately, I can't afford to come and visit you. I've no money for the fare. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be coming to Volterra on business. I've asked him if would be kind enough to ask the director to have news about you. I hope when he comes back, he'll be able to give me good news. But write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to excuse me. I didn't realize. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, daughter. Things will be fine. You'll see. Mom. I'm less convinced. <laughs> Another letter. Not delivered. Montefoscoli, 12th October, 1940. Dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. I await a letter anxiously every day. Mr. Onofrio has come back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he didn't manage to speak to the director, but he did see you. I pray for you every day. Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. That was lovely, wasn't it? I've made up my mind, Renee. I'm going to bring you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. At the moment, I'm not well and can't work, but I'll soon get better. You'll see as soon as I'm up to making the journey, I'll come and get you. No, oh, no. You're suffering a lot, but bear up. I beg you. That's awful. Mom will come to pick us up, won't she? Mom is good, but she's not well. That's why that man came. She also sent us the doll. I could have played with it and talked to it, waiting for her to come. But Renee never brought it with her. Perhaps she has been kidnapped like all the others and will be locked up here somewhere. Maybe. Okay, seriously, what is happening? Oh, the doll's here somewhere. My bad. I gotta check the things. It's probably in this wall. What does that mean? Does that mean the doll's over there somewhere? Oh, I see. I didn't catch that line. Renee. Now Probably take it over the table. The on that table in front of the window. Oh, I wandered around so long figuring this out. See, Mom was good. I was bad. Mom was worried about Renee and Charlotte. I abandoned Charlotte. We've abandoned her. Some dancing shoes. <laughs> huh. May the Lord guide your path and keep you away from sin, Mom. Wow. All right, well, that is another chapter done. That is going to be it for me today. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Sorry about the chop. Have a good day.